What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of RFO. Today uh, I just wanted to show you guys a little insight into my bass fishing tackle box and pretty much what I take with me anytime I go bass fishing. Uh, I kind of did one of these before where I did, you know, I showed you guys what's in my um, you know, my tackle box for Hawaii when I go salt fishing over in Hawaii. But this one's a little different and I have more in here, but it's still everything just just the essentials pretty much as to what I use. So let's go ahead and get in the video. Okay guys, so to start things off, this is just my tackle bag. I got this at Walmart for like, I don't know, I think it was like 15 bucks or something like that. And it's really good, it holds all my stuff. It has some good sized pouches and other things like that. And it's got a little strap too so you can wrap it around your shoulder. Um, but this is actually where I take bass fishing, um, like I said earlier. So just this main pocket is pretty much just a few trays. Um, and I kind of travel light when I go bass fishing because I only need a few things. Only a few things work here in California. So I have my trays kind of divided up in a certain way. Um, I got all my spinner baits, which is my absolute favorite bait. And then I just have a few crank baits, lipless cranks, uh, a few top water poppers, and then kind of just miscellaneous down here. Um, and these uh, two trays actually came with this bag. Um, so that worked out really well because then I was able to divide all my stuff really easily. But yeah, then I just have spinner baits and buzz baits and uh, just some different colors on this side with some different spoons too. So that's the first tray. Uh, second tray is a lot smaller. Um, I usually have these trays filled a little bit more, but um, I have a few. I have a few rods rigged up right now, so um, not every bait is in here. But uh, same layout in the tray. Um, I have a few extra dividers right here. And then I pretty much just have my topwater frogs, uh, different size jigs. I think I have just like three eighths ounce and half ounce is usually what I go with. And then I have these little um, tiny, I think they're crickets or grasshoppers or something like that. I think they're actually uh, meant for fly fishing. I haven't tried them out yet at all. So, but yeah, this is the uh, this is the grasshopper. I think um, it's just got a really tiny hook, and I mean it's. Pretty, it's pretty small and it weighs just about nothing. Um, but I think they're meant for fly fishing. I, I'm honestly not sure because they are so light. So I don't think you can really throw these on any kind of bass rod. Here's some of those jigs. Got some different heads on them too. And then just the typical frogs that work, you know, nothing too fancy there. And then in the back of these two trays, I keep my uh, lanyard, which is made by Golden Trout Lanyards. These things are like super handy. I actually really like these. Um, I wear it pretty much every time I go fishing just because I can hang like different you know, scissors and uh, heat stats off them. And it's super handy. It just goes around your neck and it's really comfortable. It doesn't get in the way. Um, but yeah, it's made by Golden Trout Lanyard. Definitely go check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, check them out. Okay, and then on this side, so let's close this back up. On this side, um, I actually just keep pretty much all my tools here. So I got pliers, multi-tool, uh, scissors for cutting some line and stuff like that. More scissors, different blades, more things to cut line, more scissors. And uh, my trusty dusty Kershaw. This thing is super nice. Um, if you're wondering why that's burned right there, there it's actually a I thought a lamp was <laughs> unplugged and I was being an idiot and I was cleaning out my grandfather's garage and I cut the uh, cut the cord to the lamp and <laughs> let's just say I was really lucky to be wearing uh, gloves, rubber gloves that day because that would have been a nasty shock. But yeah, that's actually kind of a, just a funny, stupid story. Um, but yeah, that's my trusty Kershaw. I always take a knife when I go um, fishing or hunting just because I always need one. So yeah, that's all my tools that go in this side pouch. Um, it's kind of an itty bitty little pouch, but uh, perfect for any tools or any um, thing to cut line. Um, it's perfect for that. So let's go ahead and move into this front main pouch right here. And this is where I keep all my soft plastics, um, any trailers or anything like that. So got a few flutes right here. These are actually really good for chatter baits that I use at night. Um, I don't think you guys have ever seen me use them just because I don't film at night because it's too dark. But I always um, use these as trailers on my um, black and blue chatter bait and those are just wreck the bass over there at this pond down uh, by my house. Um, so these are really good. And I got the typical trailers um, for jigs like I like showed you guys earlier. Sankos, gotta have Sankos. I got these ribbon tails. I've only used them like once. Um, I didn't really think they were all that good. Um, they're just the typical Bass Pro brand um, ribbon tails. Um, yeah, pretty good on a shaky head. Um, 
Yeah, not too, nothing too special with those. Never really use them. And then uh, I just got some more of those uh, Lucky Strike Ribbon Tails. Uh, these ones are pretty good too. I've, I think I've only used these ones once or so. But yeah, this pouch is where I put all my soft plastics and uh, it's pretty big and that's why I use it because some of the soft plastic bags are, you know, they're, they're pretty big um, so they fit in this pouch perfectly. So we got our uh, tackle trays, our golden trout lanyard in here, uh, tools in this pouch, soft plastics in here. And then uh, one final pouch here on the left, um, which is something that I hardly ever open unless I break off. And that is because this holds all of my line, all my leaders, braid, everything. And I, I use a lot of different types of leaders. Sometimes I use monofilament or fluorocarbon, but if I'm using like a main line, I'll probably use this braid, especially on my casting rod. It's really good, 30 pound braid is awesome. And a lot of the bass that I catch are usually in grass, so I kind of want that extra strength in this braid. And I uh, just got it in green, so. Yeah, but this stuff is really good, uh, pretty good price as well. And uh, I just have a little bit of fluorocarbon leader, uh, 12 pound, that's pretty much all I use for, this is like the deadly combo around here is the 12 pound fluorocarbon and 30 pound braid. That's what I just use on my bait caster. And then let's see, I got some, looks like 10 pound uh, monofilament line. Uh, this is really good leader as well. Good brand as well. And let's see, last two spools of line I got. Uh, more monofilament, but this is six pound. Uh, monofilament again, but this is 12 pounds. And then uh, last but not least, I just have more, mostly just kind of um, little hooks and stuff. Um, these are four aught hooks. Four hooks, these are great for Sankos. I love these ones. Bullet weight, yeah, bullet weights and more hooks for Sankos. Uh, this is actually some, this is actually should be in my saltwater um, tackle bag. Uh, this is basically just like a uh, steel leader and this is mostly for like sharks or something like that with really sharp teeth. But yeah, I've never ever used this. I think I got this on sale for like 50 cents at Walmart. Um, and just thought it'd be good to pick up and good to have. And the last final few bags, uh, these are trailers. These are really good for um, spinner baits and stuff like that. And it comes with a little plastic piece. And um, this just helps the fish to fully bite onto the um, to the spinner bait because a lot of times they underbite it and then um, you know of course you're not getting that fish so these are really good I actually really recommend these um, just some more uh, weights I hardly ever use weights because I usually use lures but um, these are just different sized uh, egg sinkers so uh, these are pretty good but you know like I said earlier I, I don't really use weights that much just because I use uh, lures for the most part. So there you guys have it. That's it. That is my um, bass fishing tackle box. It's just more of a most essential baits and put them in a travel size bag. That's what I take with me pretty much everywhere if I go bass fishing. Uh, let me know if you like this video. I will do more because I have you know a fly fishing bag. I have a saltwater bag. So let me know and I'll do more of these. Um, I kind of already did the saltwater bag um, in Hawaii, but that one was a little different. When I fish off the coast here in California, um, the fishing is pretty different. So I could do another one of those. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will do more of these. Thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.